This TikTok came in of a grandmother. And let's see what she had to say. But to get something here to eat, I won't. What's wrong with you? You done pissed me off. Taping me, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Don't be talking ugly. You ought to not be telling people my damn business. Mm -hmm. If I want to fuck, I can fuck. It ain't nobody's business but mine. Amen to that. Amen. That's five years ago. When? Five years ago. You're not supposed to be doing that. Why? I'm too old? No. So look, right there, you see uh, what's happening right here, really, and this is unfortunate that this kind of happens. A lot of older senior citizens are being used for TikTok clout. And you see that a lot, man. And right here, Grandma got birded down about 10 years ago or something, five years ago. She was working at a Panda Express, obviously. And uh, if I want to fuck, I can fuck. It ain't nobody's business but mine. Somebody wanted to freaking warm up that pink monkey, you feel me? And um, that's what happened. And I hate to say that, it's pretty, you know, I feel pretty dirty saying it. Um, but, you know, we all know what sex is and how it happens. And that's insertion. So. But, uh, yeah, people blasting out their grandparents so they could get that clout, that TikTok fame. They're doing the same thing with mentals on there. You know, you'll scroll through a TikTok and the next thing you know, you logged on to a couple mentals. And it's some guy over there eating out of a dog bowl or something. Are they putting, uh, you know, they beating them with, a, you know, you know, pillows, you know. They'll get two mentals out there and have them pillow fight each other. You know, before they get on a little bus or whatever. And it's just, that's what people are getting off on, I guess. And build, building their clout with. And some of this, who knows how it can go, how it could end. You know, that's what I wonder. How does it, what's the long term? You know, when I was young, they had a group that would come to our town. It was called Fag Fist Fights. And it was, this was a group that came through Louisiana. It was gay men would fist fight each other. If I want to fuck, I can fuck. It ain't nobody's business but mine. And this isn't my term for it. This is what they called it. This was a different time where people were, you know, it wasn't about the wording. It was about who people are and what's happening. And there was a lot of love and support in the air. And we'd go out and pay $5 to go over there to the bar and, uh, and watch these fellas arm down, baby. I mean, watch these boys just knuckle out. Um, and, you know, obviously one of my best friends was one of the – strongest gay uh fighters in america ever named billy conforto and he passed away man and i i gotta reach out to chucky over there and we gotta get a bench for him over there in slide l and we'll see what we can do so i'm gonna do that this week but um yeah so anyway that's what's going on grandma's pissed man because she's trying to get that wean that late wean and you start to wonder as you get older, what's the last hurrah? When you're going to get that last butt, that last bust, you know, that last suckle. When do you think it's too old? When do you think you'll shut it down at six? And you can hit the hotline for that as well, 985-664-9503. When are you going to shut down that sex, that booty magic? You know, when are you going to stop uh, doing that... Um, that dirty David Copperfield, you know, put out. You know, I'm pulling that rabbit out of your cooch. Gang, baby, damn. Hope you enjoyed that video. And you can watch another. And you can watch this one. You can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option. Not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.